What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Today we're gonna to be reviewing one of Corsair's newest releases. If you're looking to pick up a new gaming mouse, this is the Corsair Glaive RGB. And it's actually semi-modular. Let's talk about it. So the Glaive gets its name from a European weapon, actually. The Glaive is known for being the blade at the end of a pole, and it was made with many different blade shapes and curves. And that's where the Glaive RGB comes into play. Since it is modular, you could change it up and switch how it looks. The one that comes stock is a nice matte finish, but it does come with a slightly angled textured one and a more flat base textured grip like you'd see on something like the G502 Proteus Core from Logitech. They snap right into place with magnets and there's a little groove where it fits in. It is very simple and easy to just disconnect it and connect a new one. And since it is magnetic for these side grips, that means there are no tools needed. So that's always good. But I could definitely appreciate them including the other two additional textured ones if you kind of want to get a better grip overall. But now let's take a closer look. And honestly, for the size of this, it is definitely gonna accommodate most hand sizes, which is great. And also it's one of the few mouse that I tried that was uh, very user friendly with all different hand grips, like an you know, claw, fingertip, and palm grip. For my hand size, I felt that the palm grip was most natural and at 4.95 inches long and 3.6 inches wide, the shape will give you the option to change up your grip depending on your hand size. It's also on the lighter side as well at 122 grams, which was noticeably lighter considering the mice that I've been using for the past few months. So taking a look at it, you have six buttons, your left and right click obviously, the scroll wheel click, your DPI button right underneath the scroll wheel, and your forward and backward button by your thumb. Now to note, this is not an ambidextrous mouse, so you'll be using this with your right hand. It has that typical matte rubberized grip that most Corsair mice have used in the past. But like I said, we do have some texture as well on the side grips if you want to put those on the left side and on the right side of the mouse where your ring finger or your pinky finger might stay that is also textured the left and right clicks are rated for 50 million presses with the arm round switches inside and I actually like the scroll wheel it has a very grippy texture on it and it has these nice smooth and satisfying kind of grooves to it as you're scrolling along we do have three RGB zones here, consisting of two lights on the front of the mouse. You have a light strip along the body here on the left and right side, as well as the Corsair logo. And as for the cable, again, like most Corsair mice, you do have a six foot braided cable here. So now let's flip it over and talk about that sensor on the back. And we've kind of seen this recently with the Scimitar RGB Pro that came out a few months ago. This is a custom Pixar just for Corsair. It's a PMW3367 and it is rated from 100 DPI to 16,000 DPI. Most people will never need to go up that high. Yes, that's kind of crazy. But again, for people who have multiple 4K monitors or a crazy triple monitor setup or something like that, they might be slightly reaching up there, probably not gonna be needed, but it does have that 16,000 DPI sensor inside. And also like we saw in the Scimitar Pro, you can change the intervals of one DPI. So say you want it at 444 or 12,913, you can make it that exact precise DPI. So as a true random Frank P fans know, I've been using the G502 Proteus Core, the Proteus Spectrum Mouse from Logitech for like the past year or so. It's been my go-to for everything. But since I do a lot of reviews, I'm constantly switching up mice. And since I just reviewed the Scimitar Pro not too long ago, with the same sensor inside of this, there was really no hard adjustment or anything like that for me. I felt that right as I plugged it in, found my DPI setting, I was, you know, just thrown right back into my gaming with no real like delay or any downtime when it came to adjusting. But I'm definitely a fan of this custom Pixar sensor here. Optical sensors are always the way to go, and Corsair definitely nailed it when it came to adapting a new sensor for their new line of mice. But before we wrap it up, let's talk about the software, because yes, this uses the Corsair Q software, like most of their other peripherals. Your first tab is just gonna be all the actions for remapping any of the six buttons if you choose. You can do stuff like that or assign macros to it. Then you have your lighting effects tab, which like I said, it has those three zones with the RGB lighting. So you can make it all and do like the rainbow wave or something. You can make one, uh, like have certain static colors for each of the zones or have them breathe colors in and out. You know the whole routine with these RGB mice and peripherals roles not much really changed here but what's also cool is if you have a Corsair keyboard as well and you do the Corsair link it will kind of match the lighting effects from your keyboard to your mouse so I have the K95 platinum RGB keyboard and when I put the visor effect on it'll you know switch from the keyboard all the way make the transition to the mouse and back and forth so that's pretty cool I think then you have your DPI tab and in there you can have five different preset um, DPI levels saved to your Glaive RGB and use the button to switch it up 
and each DPI level is indicated by a little light tick next to that button there underneath the scroll wheel so you can easily identify and know what DPI setting you're at. Then you have your performance tab where you can go in and adjust things like the liftoff height if needed. And then the surface calibration where if you're using a different mouse pad or something unusual, you can just get it used to that so it's best calibrated for whatever surface you're using this on. So I said it a few times already, but adjusting for my Logitech mouse using this was just really easy and fine. I think it was very accurate. And again, the fact you can just have the DPI change from intervals of one is very, very cool. So you can really get that nice precise sort of a number that you're looking for. It's gonna best fit you. And if you need that 16,000 DPI um, intensity level, then it's there, but I don't think it's gonna be needed. And I really like the overall just weight and form factor of this. I'm definitely more of a palm grip on this, like I said earlier. You can probably get away with using any one of the three major ones and be very comfortable with it. You shouldn't have any like um, hand or any cramping fatigue or anything like that. Now there are two cons I wanted to bring up, not really deal breakers or anything, but I do want to mention them. Uh, the first one is, I do like the scroll wheel, but clicking in is kind of mushy and just not satisfying. It's kind of hard to click in as well. I would have liked it to have been a little bit easier when clicking that. And the second con I wanted to mention was when you have the Corsair logo lit up with the three zone RGB lighting, um, that started to get kind of warm after gaming for an hour or so. And with the palm grip, I figured maybe it was just the way I was holding it. So like I loosened up, changed it up a bit and I left it. But when I came back, it was still kind of warm. Now it wasn't like burning me and it wasn't like hot. That would be a major issue and I wouldn't recommend this mouse. But I did notice that temperature increase and it was slightly uncomfortable. And not a deal breaker, I don't think. But like I said, I did want to kind of bring that up to you guys. So for $69.99, the Glaive RGB, I think it's at a sweet, kind of a sweet spot there for a semi-modular mouse in that kind of mid-tier budget option. There are different mice out there that are more expensive that I see have these modular uh, grip and stuff like that, but you're gonna be spending more money. I think 70 is pretty good, and I'm definitely a fan of the custom uh, Pixar center that I used here for the Glaive RGB. So if you wanna check it out, it just got released, I will put it in the description down below. If you want, you can add it to your wish list on Nice to be entered in one of the monthly giveaways we have going on, so I'll put that in the description as well. If you like this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.